Hello and welcome to another tutorial on how to make a game in Game Maker. And in this tutorial, I'm a little bit excited because we get to go over pathfinding. I'm uh, sorry, our gardeners are here, so it might be a little bit loud, so I apologize in advance. But in the last tutorial, I know we went over our object box, and you may be thinking, you know, oh, we're probably going to continue that in this tutorial. But uh, the thing is, the zombies are going to be able to destroy this, but it's sort of hard to do this right now without uh, making the pathfinding for the an enemies, which we're doing going to do right now. So, if you don't know, the pathfinding for an enemy is basically just the logic behind, uh, or the AI behind, an enemy finding a path to your player. So, to do, to do this, we're actually going to go into our create event and create some new variables. So, we have a reach variable, and we, we're going to make a... Uh, Okay, first we have to make a path equals uh, path add, and then we need a grid, grid equals grid, oh there's nothing called grid, okay, grid create, so now Okay, just a second. So now we're going to uh, put in our arguments for the for this uh, method. So the top is going to be uh, zero, zero. The H cells is going to be uh, three. Oh, uh, how many? Oh, this is how many? Okay, so left and top. These two arguments right here is basically going to be the top left of your of your whole grid. So this is like a grid of your whole room. So uh, then the next arguments are going to be the H cells and B cells. So this is how many cells are going to be in the room. So what this is, it uh, we're actually going to make another uh, variable called grid size, and we'll just make it 32 pixels. And this is the size of the grid. And the, each cell is basically a rectangle, and its size on each side is 32. So it's basically 32 squared. So, okay, so uh, H cells is basically room uh, width divided by grid size. This is the amount of cells in the room, so it makes sense. Divided by grid size. And then cell width is going to be grid size. And the cell height is going to be grid size. Okay, there we go. So this should be our grid. Then we have to make uh, another variable called, uh, should, what should we call it? Okay, so in the, in the path there's going to be many points or nodes in our path that our, uh, our enemy will follow, or a zombie. So we have to make uh, one for the index for our next point, which is the next point he's aiming for. Just set that to zero for now, and then max points. So this is the maximum amount of points, or this is basically the total points in the path. And we'll just set that to zero uh, by default. And then we have to set a moving variable, so that equals to uh, false. So this basically just says, sorry, gardeners are here. Actually, let me pause right now. Oh, sorry about that. Well, the noise has somewhat gone down. Uh, but, okay, let's continue. So we've got these variables. And I'm just going to go over them real quickly. Uh, the path, this is basically just stores the data of our path nodes. And then our grid size, this basically just says this, this is the size of each square. This is basically that number squared. That's the size of our uh, each cell in pixels. And then this is basically represents our whole grid of the room. And uh, these just keep track of the index of which node it's currently or point is trying to uh, progress towards and this is the max amount of uh, points or nodes in the path and this basically just says if uh, if the enemy is trying to move somewhere or not so let's actually go into our step event and um, just comment out our MP potential step and right here actually right here under follow player, let's create if 
you're moving is going to do something. Okay, so what should we do? Well, let's think about this. Okay. Okay, actually, you know what? Let's change our uh, variable name. Let's change next point into current point. It just makes more sense for the code, actually, now that I think about it. Uh, so we actually want to just put if current point is s still smaller than the maximum amount of points, max points, if the current point is smaller than the maximum amount of points, we want to increment that point. But we also want to make sure that uh, the point to the next point is there's not a collision between there. So to do that, I'll uh, just go and make an AND statement and say if there's not a collision collision line and then uh, just put the coordinates so x, y, uh, object, no actually point, sorry, path, path, get, point, x, or path, id, and our, our path variable, and our index, which is the current point. Since we want to find the next point, since we're predicting what's going to happen, we're just going to put plus one. So actually, I'm going to uh, put a new line here just so uh, it doesn't get too messy. And it already looks like it is. So same thing with the y path, get point y path, and then uh, the index, which is current. Ah, sorry, I have to make another another new line current point okay there we go that looks good uh, and also we want to check if it's colliding with a wall oops object wall this colliding with object wall and it doesn't have to be precise and uh, it's not me so there we go. So this is 0 and this 1 is basically a true and false. That's basically what it is. And just add that extra parenthesis there. So that's that. So this is basically just checking, drawing a line between the enemy and the play, and no, and the next point is trying to go to, or it would be going to, and is checking if there's not a wall between there. If there is, it's not going to increment, and if it is, and the current point is smaller than the maximum amount of points, the current point will increment. And this is basically uh, the current point is the current uh, node that the enemy will try to move towards. So uh, we actually, I'm just going to copy this MP potential step right here. So it's going to MP potential step towards uh, path dot get point y and x. So just change this to x and change the other one to y. And I'm going to create a new line so you guys can actually see this code. So this basically, uh, and at the speed of 2, let's just change this to uh, speed, SPD. Uh, actually we're running out of time so I'm just going to change the speed to 1 because zombies are pretty slow. We're actually running out of time, so it doesn't look like we can finish this, but I'm just going to over overview it again. So, if the player is moving, then it's going to run this code. So, if the current point is smaller than the max amount of points, which basically means that if it hasn't already reached the end of its destination, and there's no collision line, or if it has a line of sight between the next point and the current position it's at. And if so, it's going to increment the current point by one and go to the next point. And then it's going to step towards that current point. So that's basically uh, the gist of it. Uh, 
But I'm running out of time right now, so it looks like we're going to continue this in the next tutorial. So thank you for watching. I appreciate a rating, and see you in the next tutorial. Thank you. Bye.